everyone. I had one of my followers on Twitter recently mention how much they always enjoy uh, my unboxings and just generally uh, sharing what games I have recently um, acquired uh, because I often post um, on Twitter with photos and I was thinking I usually do unboxings only for the big important collector's editions and sometimes for a really special item but there are lots of other things that don't often get um, the limelight and I thought it would be nice to just maybe have a, a regular more off-the-cuff kind of this is what I recently had arrive kind of video. So I just quickly gathered together games and stuff that's arrived over the last few um, weeks, couple of months or so, and we'll just share that with you. Very recently I had um, one of the um, Vita games arrive from Play Asia called Guard Duty, and I will quickly um, unwrap that. So that's the standard uh, East Asia Soft uh, Limited Edition, uh, which they've done off a lot of Vita games. And if you know my older videos, you'll know I did a complete video just on the collection of limited editions I have from East Asia Soft via Play Asia. They always have a, a numbered certificate. So I'll just quickly tell you what a guard duty is about. I'm quite looking forward to playing it. It should be a very light, humorous, entertaining game. Not very long, I think. Uh, Tond Bird, loyal guard to the castle of Wrinklewood, has a lot to answer for. Under his watch, someone has snuck into the kingdom and kidnapped the princess. An event that will have consequences well into the future. A thousand years later, humanity is on its last legs before being wiped out by an evil dark force. Join Agent Starborn to save the Earth and vanquish an evil that has been around for centuries. Discover how these two playable characters' fates are intertwined and you might just save humanity in the process in this traditional point-and-click adventure game. They're always very tightly packed. Um, we have the soundtrack and the game and the numbered certificate. And inside in the game there will also be a small uh, printed manual, just a few pages, but just a little extra. I won't open that up right now. Something completely different arrived today and that is Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which you all will be aware of. I know quite a few are, of you are already playing it. This is specially for Poodle Pa, but I will enjoy dipping in as well. We usually play it together. Another game that arrived just recently from the UK uh, is Mortal Shell. And I will just quickly get the cellophane off. So that's the disc. As you can see, it's the European edition. I had to import this game from uh, the UK. Like so many games, not available physically in New Zealand. And it comes with a, a small art booklet. It's a very dark uh, game, sort of Dark Souls-ish type of game. So it's got some actually some nice illustrations in here. I hadn't realised that. It comes with a poster. Very dark, but if you like that sort of thing, it'll look splendid on your wall. Now then, I sometimes hunt around for old PlayStation 2 games, RPGs, that uh, I've missed out on. And people on Twitter told me, I had to get Radiata stories. So I finally managed to find a, 
copy in, in reasonably good condition and I'm very thrilled about that. It does have the manual with it as it should and that's really nice. So I'm looking forward to that and I should be able to take some uh, video footage when I play it. I also got a really really special PlayStation 2 game the original Romancing Saga. Now most of you will know that I'm a big big devoted fan of Romancing Saga. Of course not many are available in the West but uh, I recently showed you my new PS Vita the Saga um, Scarlet Grace edition for which I have the um, Japanese game. Um, there is a physical edition for Romancing Saga 3 or both 2 and 3 for the Switch available. I know that in Asia. Now I couldn't remember whether I had shared with you that I have a Giraffe and Annika. I think I mentioned it in our weekly chat but I don't think I showed you my copy. And it's a, it's a very nice, smaller, limited edition. I'll show you the game. And I'll show you the art book in a moment. And there is a soundtrack and I want to put that on now. Because the music is really lovely. I'll just show you the art book very quickly because I've taken some uh, video footage of the game while I was playing it. I'll be putting a bit of gameplay at the end of this video uh, with my commentary of course as usual for a very sweet and quite lovely game that I would say is particularly suitable for children. Now, you all know that I'm uh, playing 13 Sentinels at the moment. And I just wanted to show you that it came uh, with a rather nice art book. Not a big one, but um, nicely printed on thick paper with, the, um, with all the characters in it and their different uh, stances. And the sentinels are shown as well. What else have we got? I have two Switch games. Now this is unusual because, as you probably know, I don't collect physically for the Switch. I get most of my games digitally, but sometimes I decide to get them for, you know, whenever it's um, convenient or cheap or just comes my way and that is a uh, Disgaea 1 and Labyrinth of Refrain. Now uh, both of these games I have got in different editions. I have Disgaea 1 uh, in the PS4 edition. I also have the old PS1 game on the Vita and I have Labyrinth of Refrain as well in the PS4 edition. Now the reason why I got those Switch ones, which also came with the rather nice little art booklets, is that I think they, they're they really well suited for handheld gameplay. And sometimes I just feel more like that than playing it on the big screen, on the big console. And I wanted to have that option because they're both uh, really good games. So that's why I got them. Nisa had a, a special sale and I was able to get them there at a really good price. So I just grabbed them just to have that handheld option which is so convenient on the Switch. The other day arrived a game that is really really important to me. I know it will be and that is Robotics Notes. So I'll just quickly get the cellophane off that now. And here it is. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's uh, simply the game, but bundled with a, there should be a small uh, 
badge pin or enamel pin set or something like that in there. So uh, I'm hoping it'll be nice. Let's have a look. So here we have the Robotics Notes Double Pack Edition, which is basically um, two games on one disc. And it includes the main game Robotics Notes and a, a slightly minor game called Elite Dash. Uh, and here's the, the little box with the pin set, I hope. Let me have a look. Now oh, that's a that's a nice display. Let's have a quick look at the pins. So we managed to get the pins out of the box. <laughs> we had to stop the video and restart because it was a bit tricky. Um, they are proper pins in that you can uh, you know, I have one of these fasteners on the back. You might recognize this character from the Steins Gate, that's Dado. He, um, he features in the Elite Dash in the, in the second uh, included game. The reason why I'm obviously really, really looking forward to this visual novel is that it's part of the science adventure series. Now you all know how close to my heart Stein's Gate is, continues to be, and that's of course the um, standout visual novel in the science adventure series, the, the really famous one I suppose. And of course Chaos Child is also part of that series and you'll remember I did a video on that. I'm very keen to dive into the world of robotics notes. Uh, I think it's also available as an anime, but some people have opinions about how good or bad it is. So um, I haven't watched it, so I can't comment on that. I just noticed that I forgot to show you something for Giraffe and Annika, and that is it comes with a really, really cute a set of little cloth. I don't know what they're called. They, you could sew them on, I suppose. But they're absolutely adorable. I don't know whether that comes through in on the on the picture there. They call it a patch set, so that's what they are. Uh, you will recognize these little characters in the um, video footage I'm showing at, at the end here of the game. There's only one that I haven't done yet. And that is a bit of a naughty game. So I'm not going to show you much at all. It's called Moiro Crystal H. And I'll just get it out of its cellophane wrap. It came with a little bonus mini case that can hold a cartridge. So this is the limited edition of Moro Crystal H, uh, which I got from Play Asia. As you can see, it's a Switch game. Uh, the reason for that is quite obvious. PlayStation does not really publish these types of anime games anymore that they consider to be somehow morally suspect, I suppose. Uh, some people refer to this type of game online as lewd, L-E-W-D. Um, all I can say is that I have played the previous games in the series. This is a Monster Mon piece. I, I have the Japanese edition, uh, but uh, I also have it digitally on my US account on the Vita, uh, and it is in English. So you can get it in English. It's an old PSP game. And the what I think was probably the first game in the Mortal Chronicle series was this one, available on the Vita, and it is in English, English subtitles. These games tend to be the uh, Monster Mon pieces card based, but this is a dungeon crawler. While it does have slightly 
naughty content, uh, it is actually a really solid, well-made dungeon crawler, as long as you don't mind some grinding. Uh, some of us love grinding, so uh, that comes with the territory with dungeon crawlers, really. It's a very well-made game, and uh, let's have a look. I'll just see what I can safely show you here on YouTube. Um, this is the Switch game itself. There's a sticker set included of uh, some of the um, Monster Girls, uh, which I won't show you in close-up. Um, the thing is, it's a Japanese game and they tend to do things just over the top with really quite outrageous humour. And that's what, for me, always saves the day. A naughty game in itself would have no, no particular interest for me. It's really the humour I like and the dungeon crawling and the characters, you know, they're quite good. It also comes with an art book, The, the Art of Mortal Crystal Age. That is actually quite a well-printed book. It has thick paper and good print. So uh, this is actually rather nice. Some, some very pretty designs and uh, some other illustrations as well. A whole range of images. I've occasionally in the past have had people come to the channel who object to this sort of thing. All I can say is I've never allowed anyone to impose their own moral values on me, nor would I ever do that to anyone else. And if people don't like what I play, you're not obliged to like it, then my channel is probably not the right channel for you. I felt I just had to make that clear. So I think we really, really have covered everything now. Gosh, that was quite a lot in the end, wasn't it? I'm surprised. Uh, but uh, deliveries are finally coming through again. There have been an awful lot of delays due to the pandemic situation. And for many months, I hardly got anything. So, so I'm quite happy to have got a bit of a landslide now. I hope you enjoyed this little update. If you'd like me to continue doing it just let me know as usual in our weekly chat thank you for watching please keep well i'm food for dogs bye bye